I'm Alice from the recruitment team of Bead 6 Farm. In this video you can find out key information about our new T-level qualifications. Here at Bead 6 Farm we will be offering the support in healthcare T-level in the health sector and the technical laboratory sciences T-level in the science sector. Here's Becky Cadden, our assistant principal, to tell us more about T-levels and how they can help you toward achieving your career goal. So our T-levels are two-year courses, primarily aimed at 16 to 19 year olds and the equivalent of three year levels. They're a mixture of classroom based learning and industry placements. Um, so there are 45 day placements out on the job training um, for all programmes with some programmes more than 45 days. In time there will be a whole range of curriculum areas that we do T-levels in. But for 2022, for next September, our T-levels are in Health and Science. So how they're different from vocational courses, in the main part that is the industry placement. So all T-levels have a minimum of 45 days industry placement alongside the classroom based learning and obviously their two year programmes. The main difference from apprenticeships is probably that they're very much the opposite. So with apprenticeships we have 80% on the job and 20% off the job. And with T-levels, roughly it's 20% on the job training in the industry placement and 80% classroom based learning. Uh, in the short answer, the entry requirements are different from each of the T-levels. But broadly, um, every T-level needs students to have at least the, the grade 4 in GCSE Maths and English. And examples of other grades needed, so for example in Engineering, students need at least a grade 5 in Maths. For Science, the students need at least grade 6s. For students who don't meet the entry requirements, we have transition year programmes. So they're aimed at increasing GCSE grades in the core subject but also in improving students' basic skills and skills needed for the T-level and for the industry placement. So placements will take place in year one and in year two of the T-level and when the placement will take place and how many hours it will be gained differ between the T-levels. These placements have been designed with employers so how we deliver those placements is in the best interest of both the student and employers so students get the best they can from those industry placements. So we arrange the placements here at the college, our work experience coordinators would arrange placements. We do however work with students and employers to make sure we get those best match fits. So students will be able to sort of speak to our work experience coordinators about their career pathways, their aspirations, where they want to be and, and their locations. We can try and place them with employers that suits them and the needs of the employer too. So there's lots of different options after completing a T-level from going into highly skilled employment, going on to higher apprenticeships or going on to HE. The best thing for students to do would be to come along to one of our open evenings or apply for the programme and have an interview with one of our tutors who will discuss all of the options available to you given the programme that you've applied for and also the career choices that you have in mind. If you would like to speak to us about our T-levels or any of our other courses including A-levels, A-level equivalents and full-time vocational courses, please visit our website or attend one of our campus open events. Thank you.